Quantum computing is discussed nearly every day in the media. So what is it? That's what we're here to help you understand. Quantum computing, simply put, is a new way to process information using the laws of quantum physics, the rules that govern nature on a tiny scale. Through decades of effort in science and engineering, we're now ready to put this physics to work, solving problems that are exceptionally difficult for regular computers. The quantum computing boom started in 1994 with the discovery of Shor's algorithm for factoring large numbers. While it sounds esoteric, this problem is the basis of pretty much all online security. That's right. Information security comes from how hard a math problem is for regular computers. Hence, it's pretty important that a quantum computer can solve this problem. Quantum computers are postulated to be efficient at solving this kind of problem, and perhaps others like it, by exploiting a phenomenon called interference. A conventional computer processes numbers made up of ones and zeros and can only process one number at a time. One in, one out. A quantum computer gains its advantage by creating what's known as a superposition of lots of numbers and processing them all at the same time. Quantum algorithm developers have come up with clever programs that interfere the many possible numbers with each other such that the incorrect outputs cancel each other out and disappear, and only the correct answers remain. Interference effect is the same as waves interfering on the surface of a pond. Figuring out how to do this is no simple task, and today only a handful of algorithms exist which fully exploit this information capacity. Today, small-scale machines with a couple of dozen interacting elements, called qubits, actually exist in labs around the world, built from exotic materials. Some can even be accessed by the cloud, but they are very fragile and suffer from many errors. These early machines are just too small and too fragile to solve useful problems just yet. But we're making great progress and we're getting close to quantum advantage when it's actually cheaper or faster to use a quantum computer for a real problem. We think that in the next five to 10 years, we'll cross that threshold with a quantum computer that isn't that much bigger than the ones we have today. It just needs to perform much better. By the way, this is exactly what QControl helps with. Check out our next video to learn more about how quantum computers work and what lies ahead on the road to the quantum future. You can learn more about QControl's quantum firmware and our tools to build error-robust quantum algorithms via our website.